Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a Shindaiwa 600SX. This was sent in to me to get a port job done, and I done did it. So, I've already got it in, a little bit tuned in, um, and we'll see how she runs. I'm going to send it out just like that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and richen it up just a hair. That way... Because here's the deal. There's a lot I could say, but I don't want to say too much because people will think that I'm picking on them individually. I am not. There are so many dumbasses out there. And then compound that by 12 by all of the ignorant people, all right? 
a lot of dumbasses, but even more, a lot of ignorant people, all right? Ignorance does not reflect on your intelligence. It just means you don't know. And combine that with a lack of ambition, you don't seek out the answers. Let me tell you, if you've been messing with chainsaws for more than five years, and you don't know how to tune a carburetor, you have a problem. You are a problem in the system, actually, because you have to learn how to tune your carburetor. I can't tell you how many people have asked me, point blank, uh, asked me and, and, and sent me emails and uh, sent me text messages, you name it, face to face or electronically, what ratio of fuel do I need to run in a ported saw? I'm like, whatever the hell you want. <laughs> what, whatever you want. Well, I only run, uh, you know, Red Armor 50 to 1. Then run Red Armor 50 to 1. Well, yeah, but your saw is ported. You're right, it is. You get where I'm going with this? It doesn't make any sense. It's completely nonsensical to me. Why are you asking me this question? I don't understand this. Well, I've been, you know, running a tree service for 20 years. <laughs> You've been running a tree service for 20 fucking years and you don't know how to tune a goddamn chainsaw? I mean, come on. What, what is the problem here? What is it? It's not me, right? So I have more and more been turning down jobs for people because honestly, I can't trust anyone out there unless I know them personally and I know that they can tune a, a, a saw, right? Listen, I recommend 40 to one, but 32 to one is good too. You know what else is good? 50 to one, as long as you've got an appropriate synthetic oil, you know? And uh, so this is knowledge that is just gained over time, all right? Um, and if you've been in this game for more than five years and you haven't figured it out yet, well, you need to throw yourself into a high gear, motherfucker. Sorry. You know, I cuss. That's what I do. I'm, I'm downright sick of it. You know, learn how to tune your damn saw. Learn how to tune it, you know. And now if it's the newbie out there that's asking questions, I totally get that. You're seeking, looking for answers. But if you've been in this game five years plus and you haven't figured out yet that you can run any high quality oil that you want okay you should have bought fuel enough times and played around over the course of five years to know what you like all right we'll run that now you hear a lot of people bitching about certain oils namely the steel ultra right? Let that sink in. Why are they bitching about that? Are we getting paid to bad mouth steel ultra? No, not at all. Are we doing it because we love drama and we love arguing in the comments? <laughs> Hell no, not at all. So there must be something to it. A bunch of professionals and semi-professionals out there that are working on saws, actually doing the mechanical work, Tim Bauer at Iowa Performance Saws and Richard Flagg are the two champions leading the way. They are professional small engine mechanics and they're telling you to stay away from Steel Ultra. Well, instead of being the douchebag, sorry, the absolute douchebag that tries to buck against that stream, take a second and go, hmm, why are they talking shit about Steel Ultra? Maybe I should pay attention to this professional, right? You know. <laughs> it's like listening to a scientist and going, no, sea level's not rising. What are you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. Listen to the pros and run a good quality oil and learn how to tune your saw.
There's plenty of videos out there. Yes, I've had it in mind to do a carb tuning video, but here's the deal. There's a lot of things going on with variable variations of different saws, all right? Different models, all right? Some of them have carb limiters. Some of them don't have carb limiters. You have to know how to remove those carb limiters and they're different for different models. Get rid of the carb limiters and then you can actually tune the carb. Um, there's a lot to making a video and I want to make a good one. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is ramble, ramble, ramble. That's turned ugly, didn't it? Yeah, I, I don't take on many porting jobs anymore. Uh, it's things that I want to build myself and then maybe I'll turn around and sell them, right? And there you have it. <laughs> I'm really tired of people asking me what, what ratio oil and what type of oil they should run whenever they have more experience than I do. And you know, I mean, learn how to tune your saw. This thing runs great. And I believe the owner of this saw is Mike. I'm gonna send you an email, buddy. Hopefully we'll get this in the mail for you tomorrow. And well, I mean, by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably already be mailed off. But uh, yeah, good running little saw. Oh, let's see if it restarts. You had said, Mike, that it floods out easily. That's probably just because your carburetor settings were whack. It shouldn't do that now. So you pull the choke, pull it till it pops, boom. push the choke in, pull it till it starts. Learn how to tune your carbs. I mean, I, had, I never even ran that. I'm not talking about this guy. I'm just talking about everyone. Learn how to tune your carbs. Damn it. <laughs>